The UN Agency for Refugees says since February this year, 250 people arrived in Malawi every day due to fear of further clashes between government troops and the opposition Renamo guerrilla fighters. Despite the feud, the South African nation is among the fastest growing economies in that region. I recently sat down for an interview with Mozambique's ambassador to the U.S., Carlos de Santos. Share with us a little bit what has inspired this growth in Mozambique. The economy has been growing at an average of 7 to 8 percent per annum over the past decade. And that was due to developments in other sectors, not the hydrocarbons and the coal. Uh, these are new developments which are great for the economy of the country. But the main sectors that have uh, uh, enabled this development have been agriculture, which is the mainstay of the Mozambican economy. Uh, it is the basis of survival of Mozambicans. We don't have a lot of commercial agriculture, but uh, uh, the economy has depended on agriculture for uh, forever because our population lives in the rural areas, the majority of it, and uh, they all have uh, small farms. And what has happened over the years is that they have been improving the techniques of production uh, and the current uh, uh, movement is towards mechanization and uh, assisting peasants to produce more in smaller areas. But this has been the mainstay of the economy. And then you have light industries that have uh, developed over the years uh, for food processing, textiles, and then you have you had a period which uh, there was a decline of the textile industry almost all over the world, and our markets were Eastern Europe, and uh, that resulted in decline of the textile industry. But uh, you still have some uh, function uh, light industries. Now ooh, there's a lot of talk about uh, mega projects in Mozambique. And it started with the Mosal aluminum smelter plant. It's uh, the, the most modern aluminum smelter plant in Africa because it was built recently. Uh, and is a huge concern that was uh, about a $2 billion investment, the first uh, uh, big investment in Mozambique. And that contributes to uh, the GDP growth uh, considerably. Uh, so uh, a number of times we, we calculate the GDP of Mozambique with Mozal or without Mozal. That was uh, in the past few years, but uh, more recently we have more uh, uh, mega projects. We don't have to do that uh, because we have heavy sands, have mineral sands in Apollo province, uh, in, in, in northern Mozambique. Uh, which is also a mega project. Uh, we have the, the coal in Tet is a mega project and many others. Uh, transport and communications has been also uh, an important uh, sector of development because Mozambique is a gateway to Southern Africa, to the landlocked countries of Southern Africa. And uh, uh, transport and communications has been developing to serve not only Mozambique but those countries in the hinterland and northern part of South Africa. 